You're listening to Plus Size Divas with Deanna and Carmen. unique worthy body out there welcome back to the plus size divas i am carmen renee aka eat the cake too i am deanna at deanna bomb chica and together we are the, the plus, plus size, size divas, divas. <laughs> so thank you so much for tuning in once again we want to remind you that if you want to call in at any point which you will because our guest is amazing amazing the number is 818 818- five seven zero five zero eight five it should be on the screen we are taking calls the entire time so please dial in and let us know what you're thinking <laughs> all right um obviously you're, you're watching latalkradio.com if you're not that's an alternative option latalkradio.com you can watch us on facebook live make sure you tell your friends go tell a friend about it and um she's all amazing right. She's amazing. Also, you guys, <laughs> just get to the fucking sponsor, please. No, please. I have one more thing. Oh, you have one more thing before the fucking sponsor. Because okay. guess God. what, guys? If guess you what? missed any of our shows, or you can go tell a friend about it, or our cleavage, we have our YouTube channel, The Plus Size Divas, where we upload everything the next day, so you can go. Catch no, actually, up. I do. I First upload of all, it. This bitch. Okay, okay. Deanna does a lot for the show. I really Let's do. Just admit that. But Let's admit it. I'm here and my hair looks great and my boobs are amazing. <laughs> and that's all that matters right now. <laughs> all right, let's get to our Somebody's sponsor. calling. Wait a minute. Oh, Wait a minute. You're Shoshana, you're a, you're Shoshana, we you're even fucking Shoshana. It's Shoshana's hot funny. shit. Hey, who is this? Hello? Hello? Hi. Are you calling the right Hi. show? Are you a wrong guy? Hi. You called um the Plus Size Divas on LA Talk Radio. I Did did you call the wrong place? Hello? I did. Oh, oh well, what's your name? Let's just get to know ya. Oh, my gosh. I what's can't. your name? Don't hang this up. Is, uh, this is Greg Caston. Greg Caston. Oh. Hi, oh, Greg. Greg. So you, you were, you meant to. I spoke with you on Instagram a few times, oh. Shoshana. Are you oh. laughing at me? <laughs> oh. oh, we thought you were calling the wrong number. We were just going to bullshit <laughs> no, with you anyway. No. You are calling the right number. No, 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 no. Yes. No, no, no. Oh, guys can't call in. I, yeah, I, absolutely, yes. you can't. We no, love she penis. said, did you call the wrong number? And you said, yeah. We love penis. So, <laughs> hi, Greg. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, Greg, we're happy you? to have we you. We have calling. a serious no, no, delay. I've spoken to you, Greg Caston, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know your name. So, did yes, you call I'll in? Be front row at your concert. I'm oh, oh, thank you. We didn't even we didn't even get to all of that, Greg. You're like jumping the gun. Jumping. Greg, are you gonna call us back in five minutes when no. we get to that, Greg? <laughs> Greg, we will. Oh, we won't do. We that. love you. We love you a long time, oh, Greg. Sure. I, I, <laughs> you're not gonna make this man call, call back, back, are you? Really? No, no, you're gonna call back, Greg, in five oh. minutes after I do the intro, I, Greg. Okay. All right. Oh we love you. Bye, Greg. Bye, Greg. Greg. I'm sorry. Greg. I have no okay. control here. Bye-bye. Okay. Listen, everybody. Uh, we know you're. Listen, I'm not a bitch. Let me tell you something. We she love. Just made a caller I hang know. up. I know. <laughs> and promised to call listen, back. By the way, our minutes. first male caller, which we appreciate you, Greg. Was Greg. Listen, I knew you were a hot ticket. I knew you were a hot ticket. That's why I had to have you on the show. But they got to let me get to my intro because I have oh a God. whole intro planned for you. Do your intro. But go ahead. You have but something. We have to talk about our sponsor, though, really quick. Really quick. Um, we, you guys, she was on the show last week. She's yes. amazing. Randy with Self Love Apparel. Yes. Um, you can follow her on Instagram at um, island underscore Randy. With an I. And click the link in there and download her free self-love workbook, which is amazing. It links to her YouTube channel. Yes. And if you've been following us, you already know that we're obsessed with her line of self, self-love self apparel. Yes. Selfloveapparel.com. I just posted pictures of us today um, in her self-love shirts and her brave shirts, and we love them. So you will too. She has a discount code for you. Plus Size Divas is the code for 20% off again my um selfloveapparel.com and randylee.net for life coaching we love you randy thank you for your support listen here everybody that's all well and good but do you understand who we have on our show tonight listen to me i'm geeking i'm geeking 
So let me just tell you something. A lot of you out there know me as a singer. And you're like, oh my God, Deanna, you're such a good singer. I suck compared to our guest. Let me be honest. Okay, listen, this woman. I've heard a lot of people live. I've heard Whitney live. I've heard Donna Summer live. And some of you might be like, Donna Summer, bitch can sing her ass off. Don't get it twisted. Donna Summer live. I've heard Babs live. I've heard the greats live. Our guest tonight, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a Broadway nerd, like I'm a Broadway nerd, but on top of that, but just beyond that, just singer-wise, is a fucking amazing. She's gonna sing for us, she doesn't know it, but she's gonna. Um, but anyway, you guys, tonight, and I, I mean this from the bottom of my heart, you're probably, like, I watch your videos and I just wanna throw my phone against the wall. The most amazing voice, lovely heart, so genuine and real and just fucking honest with her. We had to have her on here. We had to talk to her about what's going on. I'm not gonna spoil the surprise. Some of you already know, but she has a huge show coming up and I wish I could be there. But you guys, we have Shoshana Bean. Yay! Yay. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you for having me. We're, we're so happy to have you and I'm so happy to have you because I've known you for a while. Long time. And I've seen all the things that you've done and all of this and, 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 and let, me, let me be frank and do not take this the wrong way. You should be everywhere in my opinion and when i hear talent like yours i'm like i I literally scratch my head and i go um uh, why is this person selling millions of records and they're touring the world and then shoshana's like wait (laughs) and -hmm. it doesn't make sense it does in my mind it doesn't make sense and i'm like you're you're worthy of international worldwide i don't fucking understand so you know and and that's that whole thing and and having to be where you are in your in in where you are in your career and 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 being gracious with it and and taking the blessings that come and just being like hey i'm out here doing what i love i'm not working at mcdonald's Mm -hmm. i'm not saying would you like fries with that shake it's all good Mm -hmm. and you're there in your moment but for me looking at you i'm like this woman and like i said you guys if you don't know i'm going to play some of her music today if you don't know who she is please go google her and go listen to her music she's she's unbelievable like the stupidest voice i've probably ever heard um agility for days like she's a gymnast power all of it can you please please talk to us about what's coming up for you because i want to make sure that if people are in the vicinity and tell us what how people what what they know you from like give us an intro to you give us an intro who don't know and let Deanna take a break. Because I, I <laughs> just Lord get, have mercy. I get very excited about some of our guests. <laughs> she feels like she's in my family, so I feel like I'm literally the thing. I get excited. Right now. I get I feel mm-hmm. like her great aunt like in Mabel. Jews okay. and Italians are very similar, so it's like it all feels very familial. You yeah. Know? Yeah. It is. I understand. But yeah, give them, them talk. give them, yeah. Mm-hmm. But you give know, them, why am I telling I, you? I'm like, she's really? She's like, honey, I do this every week. I tell her to shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, seriously, tell everybody, just like, how'd you do it? How'd you get into it? Where, oh where'd this gosh. come from? Where'd you find it? Give us the. I didn't, I didn't find it. It found me. I think, I think I came into the world just with that in me, um, with the need to express myself creatively, sing, act, move my right. body. Um, and gratefully, I had parents who s- saw that and fostered it very early. Nice. Um, so my mom put me into dance class at three years old and a theater group at six and um she was a creative she's a dancer and just very creative herself so uh i grew up in the northwest i went to college for musical theater in cincinnati and then i moved to new york when i graduated and i started in musical theater Mm -hmm. um but in my mind like after um emotions came no yeah after emotions came out mariah carey's emotions Mm -hmm. Uh, I decided I was going to be a pop star. That's what I what my life goal. And another friend of mine in junior high was like, "I'm going to do this for a living." And I'm like, "You can just decide to be Mariah Carey for a living." <laughs> well, then I will too. <laughs> so let's see who gets there first. Yeah. Okay. So, but you know, you couldn't. I didn't know uh, about Berkeley, mm-hmm. and uh, you couldn't really otherwise major in being a pop star. But I knew that going to college was not an option, so I chose musical theater and uh, moved to New York and and simultaneously was like pounding the pavement to get a show, a Mm -hmm. a musical, and also like doing R&B competitions in the village and like, you know, meeting tons of skeevy people who were trying to like put you in a girl group or like, you know, make you a backup singer and take a percentage of your, you know what I mean? Like there are just so many wonderful people in this business. (laughs) Um, But theater is what popped off for me first. And so I did that and rode that train. I did, 
an off-Broadway revival of Godspell was my first show, and then right. I did the. I was in the original company of Hairspray. Yeah, wow. um, which is why you and I started talking. We were at that lip, that Wayne Brady audition, the lips, the the singing show. Do you remember that? I was up for the touring, and you told me you said I know I I went in for Hairspray a million times. Like I was always up for Tracy, Tracy. But we started talking at that audition because you were like, I knew who you were. Yeah, which we, you won a shit ton of money on that show, if I recall. So I meet her at, I, I didn't actually get on, I didn't get on the show. physically meet her. Show. She definitely won a convertible or something. <laughs> no, I, won, I, I actually won $350,000 oh. that I spent on cocaine the next year. No, I'm you kidding. Did not. I don't even do drugs, you guys. Listen, ah. no, listen, I knew who she was because, again, Broadway geek, hello. And I was like, oh, my God, that's Shoshana Bean. How can I, like, make her like me right now? Okay, uh -uh. hey, guess what? No, but she was. She it was the whole hairspray thing tells the yeah. casting yeah they called me and called me and called me and called me in and then right before christmas sent me to see the show three times and then right before christmas called me and said you don't look jewish enough oh jewish enough. i didn't look jewish enough that's what they said i guess whoever they were had, they supposed to be jewish that was I, never a conversation i think because it was fierstein uh, as uh -huh. and i think we didn't look i don't know maybe that's Weird. what craig over tulsi told me i don't know Weird. but anyway ran into you there and yeah, then was like that's how we and then we started writing and we, yeah. we've had a we we wrote a couple of songs that have been she's like the this is what she does she's I, like ah i know exactly what we need to write and i'm like are you sure and, and we've gotten it we've made money for these. she's like wow. i'm getting checks i'll like send her random checks and she'll be like what is this for and i'm like just shut up bitch and cash it but anywho <laughs> Boom, boom, hairspray. And then from hairspray came Wicked. Yeah, basically. Wicked. Yeah. yeah. Now, did you huge. take, because you have to walk me through the timeline. Did you take over for Idina or were you in that I, first? I went in as a standby first. So I originally auditioned to be this, to be uh, Nessa Rose, I think. Oh. It was like the, the original audition was Nessa Rose. Didn't get it. Then they called me into audition to be her standby. Oh. Hmm. I think that's how that went. And I didn't get that. No. Ugh. Uh, right. Didn't get the standby, but they said, will you come in as the understudy, which means I would be in the ensemble. Okay. And then the standby is the first on, and then if the standby is out, then I would go on. Yeah. And that's kind of what I was doing in Hairspray. I was Tracy's understudy. Yeah. Not the standby, but the understudy. Right. And a couple other roles as well. And I was like, I don't want to start a whole new show, do previews, do all of that, just to do basically what I'm doing now. Yeah. So I said no, graciously. And um, then when uh, my friend Eden, who ultimately was the standby, mm -hmm. when she left to go do Brooklyn, uh, the musical Brooklyn. Um, they, she didn't go to do Brooklyn. Exactly. <laughs> like, I have to always I leave Broadway to do Brooklyn. Oh, like, I, I went to Brooklyn. I went to Brooklyn. <laughs> uh, then I came in as her standby for like three months, and then she left the show, and I took over. You mm -hmm. took over. Boom. Mm -hmm. And then? Then I was done. You then I was like, what else is there to do here? Now I know what it feels like to be the star of a show. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. hard. Mm -hmm. um, I'm good. Yeah. Like I did what I came to, to New York to do. Right. Now I want to focus as much energy and attention in as many years on my music. Being Mariah Carey. Yes. Back to Mariah. Back to emotions. Yeah. Hello. So, um, so then I just, I moved out here because uh, I needed to get away from, you know, the yeah. life I'd set up there that was never going to let me out. <laughs> never. Yeah. So never. gratefully, yeah. I mean, I'm grateful for that. But um, how, uh, how so long ago was that? 10 years, 10 11 years. years. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, and you four have albums four albums and yeah. lots of touring and weird jobs and sessions and yeah. writing and yeah. So are you doing that? You feel like this is where you belong. You're doing what you're supposed to do here. Yeah. I mean, I love living in LA. Yeah. Like this is definitely, if I get to have a home base, cause I travel so much anyway. Like if I get to have a home base, LA is 100% where my heart is happiest. Right. Um, but I think what I've learned about myself and my career is that it's not as black and white as I, I initially thought it would be. Mm -hmm. It's not just Broadway or it's like now my life has become sort of everything. So I still do theater. Sometimes I still put out my records. I get to tour. I still do set, Like I get to do right. I'm a singer, so wherever yeah. my voice is needed, like, you know what I mean? Whatever's going to, like, I'm in a position, gratefully, to be like, yes, I want to do that, or no, I, I don't think that that's going to fill me up or help really serve you and your project. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I want to ask you something very frankly, and I want you to be honest. Do you feel like what I said earlier? Have you heard my voice? Oh, I should be fucking question. bigger. Do you have those That's moments? Such a tough, do you have those? I know. It's so tough. I, do I wish that my career were uh, were that what you're saying? Like what you were saying? Do I wish that that? I mean, it's fucking awesome. Don't get me wrong. Please, one hundred percent. I yeah. wish that. Yeah. However, what I do know is 
you know, there were things I have now that I wished for 10 years ago that I mm. know if I had gotten them 10 years ago, I wouldn't have known what to do with them. Oh. So I have to believe that this is all laid out in a way that's that I'm growing and expanding and things are coming to me at the time that I'm actually prepared for them. Mm. And also, I try not, I don't like to live from a, a victim mentality of like, why don't I have that? Or why yeah. am I not there? What's wrong with me? Or what right. am, what's wrong with everyone else? Like, it's more of like, what am I doing? I try to own responsibility for everything of like, what am I doing energetically to block the dreams that I still have? Yeah, what am I, I doing that. to I love live it. into that or believe in it? Sometimes I even, I think I had a, literally a dream the other night as I was sleeping where I, I don't, I don't know, the question was asked to me of like, do you actually believe that what you want is possible? Mm. And I believe the answer in the dream was like, no, I don't believe it's possible. So I think a, a lot of the problem is me. Yeah. Ah. No, no, okay, so go into, because specifically, with such a magnificent voice and so much talent, have you experienced in the business people going, you don't look the right way, you, 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 your body's not the right way, you, you know, visually, you know, you should look like X, Y, and Z. What, have you experienced that and what have you done to combat that, because I know what you said earlier, but I want them to hear yeah, what you yeah. told us earlier. Um, there have definitely been moments. It's not a consistent theme in mm. my career, but starting out early in college, they definitely said, if you want to be an ingenue, you need to lose 20 pounds. Um, and you were and tiny then. It was smaller than I am now, for sure, yeah. And you have to um, lose 20 pounds. Yes, okay. And then, <laughs> You know, but uh, and then I remember moving out to LA and getting linked up with some guy, like through Babyface or some some other guy that was like, "I'll pay for your nose job because that's wow. really gonna, Oy, you know." Or you know, there've been a lot of times where it's like, if we just get your body tight and we get the right pictures and we get, you know, there's been a lot of comments yeah. about, but it's never been. I've never had someone be like, "We didn't cast you or choose you because you are too heavy," or I've heard like, "You're too ethnic looking," you know. But I also understand like. I think the gift that I've been given is seeing both sides of it. So mm -hmm. while I've been told lose weight or get a nose job or those things, I've also played Tracy Turnblad mm -hmm. and an ensemble member in the show and Velma's understudy. And so my body and who I am exactly was the perfect person I needed to be to fit that slot, right. to be right. thick enough to swing up into play, you know, the big girl and somewhat believably in a fat suit. But also, you know what I mean? Who I am to be a unique member of the ensemble, you know, playing Elphaba. I, I know, I know where you're going. A, I know where you're. I know. I saw that face. I mean, I think it's just the uh, fact that they put you in a fat right. suit instead right? of hiring some. I mean, because I'm obviously for an I'm happy that you have. No, no, no. I understand the position, the, but yes, the person so. had to be able to be. And the the issue, the point of the show is race and weight, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So totally. a council member who I played in my normal track, who's going to point their fingers at the big girl and say, you don't look like the rest of us, you can't be in the council, couldn't also be, and it had to be an internal swing, like it had to be I someone see. in the okay. show. So that was more for the sake of the thing. story, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it okay. wasn't like I was, they just were like, we like her voice, so we'll just put her yeah. in a fat suit. No, 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 yeah. no. Um, I mean, which, although which a lot of happens, times the girls would lose a lot of weight, too. In the girls that played Tracy would lose a lot of weight once they started the show and they'd have to pat them up. Yeah, because they're dancing they were so just much. Right. Dancing. It's so yeah. much work. I remember totally. that audition and them being like, oh, it's light movement. And I was like, bitches, this, this is not is light Alvin. <laughs> <laughs> bitches, let me tell you something, Alvin you guys. Like I said, this is Alvin size. fucking You're Ailey. Crazy. No, let me, I swear to God. No. When they were like, okay, so it's this. And they no. showed us the combinations. She's I was like, I, I literally went like this. I remember being in the audition, looking around going, the fuck? Like, no, no, are no. you crazy? It's, it's simple. It's just super athletic. So it's yeah. like, yeah, it was not Alvin Ailey. With when you're it's just 250 pounds, pounds and they're no, giving you it's that. super athletic. You're like, fuck all yeah. of you right now. I'm about to die. No wonder why all the leads lost weight. But for me, for me hearing that though, and I understand the technicality of it. Yeah. It also is like, do you know how many roles there are on Broadway for girls who look like me? Yeah. So not that to me is is fucking nuts like a little bit you uh, know what I'm I saying understand. yeah I mean there's like th and and you know what bummed me out about not getting the lead in hairspray I remember crying weeping as a matter of fact when I heard that I didn't get it because I went there went my chance to ever be the lead no well that's what we all in a Broadway show on, that's not true though we all that's just why someone could look at me in college and say lose 20 pounds or you'll never be the star of a show mm -hmm. well I've been the star of two shows just right. as I was yeah. right I didn't lose any weight I didn't change myself because there's always something new being created right. Alphabet is an ingenue 
but she's an, a non-traditional ingenue. Tracy Turnblatt is an ingenue. She's a non-traditional ingenue. Like, yeah. you don't know what's coming. No one yeah, would have I said have a black to... person would play George mm-hmm. Washington on stage. Or, or that yes. there would be yeah, rap music on that. stage. Yeah, you're right. There's that, always yeah. something. There's yeah. new roles being. And I think that we are in the age where, like, we're starting to see more roles created for different bodies slowly. But we are starting to see it. And I, I know yeah. we've talked about that before. I mean, I'm not saying I look at, you know, the things that you apply for and it's disgusting. Like th- what the description the casting is. Goals yeah, that the casting goals? Yeah, the casting Come on, girl. Fit. But All I American. I don't look at those things. I no. don't, look, I don't well, know I mean, what they even say. I, I get them because I have to submit. Yeah. You know, I have to self-submit for a lot of things. And it's always like All American looks. Fit. X, Y, Z. And I'm like, fuck you. Yeah. Do you all know the median weight here? Right. All like, American yeah. look is actually a size 12. 12. <laughs> like, where are you people What even at? is all American anymore, by the way? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's funny what these companies want to represent them, though. If I sent yeah. you some of them, you'd be like, wow, Deanna, this shit's fucked up. I'm glad I don't look at this crap. But yeah, every but day. You also have to understand, if you want to get into this business, this yeah. is what it looks like. Yeah. And yes, it is changing every day. We have so many yeah. movements happening. We have colorblind casting happening, which I think should include not just color, but just blind casting. Sure. Where yeah. you would traditionally, you know, why isn't there a plus size alphabet? There's no reason yeah. w- she doesn't have to be. Who's right. to say the Wicked right. Witch of the West didn't get really fucking upset and eat 30 eat boxes of feelings. Twinkies? Listen, Hello? First it's of not, all, it, sh- that it doesn't so need to be. rude. Not every fat person has to eat 30 boxes of Twinkies. Right? I certainly <laughs> don't because I'd be 700 pounds <laughs> instead of the pounds I am now. But I'm being, but I'm being, we're being funny. Carmen, I know you get relaxed. But listen to me. That's fine. You can hold this accountable. You can hold this accountable. Um, but I'm just, but I'm things just Things are changing and moving. Yeah. However, I think it's foolish of people to get into this business and not mm-hmm. understand and be prepared and have thick skin to know that like right. someone is going to tell you you're too Jewish for this role and you yeah. just okay. keep doing yeah. it until and you, there until will be your perfect fit yeah. your perfect fit or until we, society wakes up and again slowly but surely we start understanding that these roles are not defined or you know confined to one specific body type so yeah I mean we Deanna you better keep auditioning I oh bitch she I'm bitch stop. I'm bitch I'm not stopping but my point my point in even doing this is that you know we have we have goals of like getting you know ultimately a reality TV show why is there this reality TV and this reality TV show where's the plus size divas where's five bad bitches in LA mm-hmm. that are plus size and killing it and one's a model and one's an entertainment and one's a lawyer and one's a doctor and yeah. one's a where no, is that they're not doing that yet because it's meant for and you guys not to all do sad. Right. it's not there yet not all sad yeah and they're bodies. not all sad <laughs> <laughs> well I mean Carmen and I often dialogue about like where where are the where are the fat people on TV where are the happy fat people? they're all sad and depressed and want to kill themselves or die or whatever or my 600 pound life it's true Oof. Think about it, though. Think about it. Like, mm-hmm. you know, and, and, and I love when somebody emerges and it's like, oh, my God, there she is. You know what I mean? Um, which is why I'm like, fucking Roseanne, could you have shut your fucking mouth? Because, like, <laughs> you fucking dumbass. Like, what a fucking dumbass. She came back. and But growing up, let me just tell you guys, you know why yeah, I'm yeah. bummed out? Because growing up, I saw me. I went, oh, my God, this woman is a successful comedian. She has a huge fucking show. Mm -hmm. It went on for years and years and years, Mm -hmm. and I was excited. And so when she did what she just recently did, I'm like, you're a fucking dumbass. Like, you're really a really a fucking dumbass. Like, here you were representing all of us one more time. Yeah. And you've got to say stupid shit. You're just dumb. You know what I mean? And that bummed me out because I want to see more people in those positions Mm-hmm. Yeah. all over the place mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and we and you know she was happy or she was it was lighthearted and fun and they were they were getting in in this particular you know revamp they were getting into some touchy subjects mm-hmm. you I know wanted, what I mean I wanted to ask you about because um, you've been in this industry for a while <laughs> like yes. how oh, 12 you, years 20 years no, 20 years <laughs> at least yes. 20 years at I least. mean no I mean I started when I was like 9 or 10 so, so yeah, yeah. a while years. 30 years mm-hmm. oh my gosh um, so She's like, this is crazy. I mean, I love like um, again, like, your voice is amazing. But I think about what artists have been doing, like a lot of collaborations. And I, I correct me if I'm wrong, but like I haven't seen a lot of collabs that you've done with maybe like new up and coming artists or you know, newer artists. Would that be something you'd be interested in? Um, yes, and I have and do. Um, yeah, oh, tell us and tell me, correct me. I think, oh, let's see, how do I explain this? Um, I think that I'm 
gone a lot. Okay. Mm. So collaborating with people here. I've done more collaborating this year than probably ever. So um, I feel like I'm shrinking, guys. Like, <laughs> you could have been on Drake's mm. new album. <laughs> yeah, why weren't you on Drake's new album? Oh, I'm sorry. I actually said no. To <laughs> Are you kidding? It, you got said it, no got it. Um, why am I not collaborating with new up-and-comers? Uh, I think it's just accessibility. Like, mm. I don't know w what I'm looking at or who I'm, lo you know what I mean? Like, I think that I, uh, my filter is, yeah. There, I, there are a couple. I, I did a video with my friend David who just moved here from St. Louis. Um, I did a video with Vincent, uh, my friend Vincent who, from Berkeley, who was on mm. the four, you know, mm. Vincent. But oh, nice. we didn't like the way it turned out, so oh. we didn't. So we have something else. I mean, okay. I have a lot of collaborations. I don't know that all of them are new up and comers. Yeah, hmm. I just feel like um, do you, or I guess my question is, do you feel like that your voice and your style of music is like, I mean, Broadway music is a little bit more niche, niche almost. Yeah. So just to kind of expand into different. I don't genre do Broadway music. No more. My no. albums are like soul it's jazz, music and soul, jazz. Yeah. And yeah. She's done. She really. You really have kind of covered. The gamut. Each album has been very it's different. different so yeah, yeah. It's I mean, all, all your music on like that's out on iTunes is, I mean, because you do a lot of covers too, so you do yeah. do a lot of different. Please go, please go over. look, please go to YouTube and look up Shoshana's video of her and Brian McKnight. At no, do not look that no, one do, up. Why Actually, not? Don't do that. You're amazing in that. So bad. Are you fucking nuts? Oh my god. There's only one person who's ever been honest with me about that, and that was my ex-boyfriend. And I literally, he was like, "Why does everyone freak out over this video?" And I'm like. Have you seen it? And he was like, no. And we sat down to watch it, and he's like, you have to turn it, you have to turn it off. And I'm like, I what? know. He's like, that's not what you, that is not how you sing. And I'm like, thank you for being the sole person Okay, on well, listen, listen to me. Who understands listen that to it me. was now I have to go watch fucking it. terrible. She's a smoke, she just smoked the biggest oh God, invisible was... bong in front of us right now. Because I have to tell you something, you're oh crazy. But listen to me. So... You know, you know, listen to me. You're crazy. Okay, fine. Don't go look at it, but you should go look at it because it's amazing. <laughs> I, I have the power to take it down off of YouTube. No, don't do it. And I feel no. like I should. No, no, not until I mean, everybody goes to see it. People love it's it. It's amazing. Listen, you're not. You're, how many views does it have now? Like nine no, billion? No, probably like, I mean, twenty thousand, maybe. Oh, maybe. Maybe that's nothing. Maybe. All right, we'll sing for us now. Make up for it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love how shy she gets. I love this. Okay, wait a minute. So hold on. So. Listen, there were some people calling in and I ignored them because you were like talking Why? about your thing. Yeah. Well, with their, listen, if if you called in and I didn't answer, you guys, you can call in now. Do but I wanted friend, on top of it. it. I know. You can't talk about that. That's my friend. Who? I'm looking at your gossip ideas. You can't talk about Oh. oh, that was last week, and so we oh, talked okay. about it. We talked about it. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. we talked about that last okay, week, right. um, and we were just like, "Whoa." Oh um, anyway, she's such a hater. By the no, way, no, I'm not a hater. I'm just like, "Hi, Mary, your dad. Why don't you?" I don't know. Okay, listen. All right, okay. we're not going to talk about it. Yeah. Next so, subject. Sorry for um, hanging up on our callers. Oh my I god! Remember when Deanna told Greg to call back? She Greg, you can call back now. Just He's blocked never two gonna calls call too. But Shoshana was talking. Oh, somebody's calling. Somebody's calling. I'm not saying anything. Okay. Hi, I think it's Greg. Hey, hi, is Greg. hi. Who is this? This is Greg. Hi. Yay! <laughs> okay, Greg. Do you have a specific question or comment for Shoshana Bean? I feel like you do. Well, I I, I, I spoke with her a few times on Instagram, but I, I you know I'll be at the concert and I said anyway. But I just wanted to thank you for uh, that. I was going through a breakup and that album. And I, I discovered you because of the person who is the reason I'm actually in New York, and I'm an actor also. I, I threw my career away and moved on to something else, and I came and I saw Cynthia Revo in The Color Purple, and I was like, I have to do this. I can't, I have to come back. And I came back and I saw her again. I wrote her a letter and gave her some flowers, and she came and talked to me. Anyway, I follow her on Instagram, and she posted something with your, your music on it one day, and that album really just helped me through and that of course there's some revenge stuff in there like I, uh, you know I want to be around <laughs> to pick up the pieces like that it's I'm, I'm very grateful for your music and I'm very grateful that Cynthia will be joining you on stage because I'm just happy about that and I and I agree with the lady at the table that I your voice is simply amazing you're just thank you Greg I put you in the category I'm a big Billy I'm a, I'm a big Billy Porter fan and I think hello such reckless with what he's able to do with his voice yeah and you're just like that it's like i hear you do things like what how okay and i <laughs> i share your music with my friends all the time and i'll be there front row with my white shirt on 
Oh, look for the look for the white shirt, Bo. I love it. Greg, thank you so much. That you just made my whole day. Thank, thank you. Thank you guys. I'll Thanks see you for calling Apollo. in. Yay. Thanks, okay, Greg. great. Good segue. Tell them about the Apollo. Oh, I'm playing the Apollo in Amazing. Harlem in New York City on July 30th. Your own um, headlining show. Yeah. Let's let's just say that again. Her own headlining show. This little Jewish girl from Schenectady. I've always just wanted to say that. <laughs> but you're not, not from Schenectady. Schenectady. Nope. Um, wow. But your own show. Tell them who you're... I know you're like leaking special guests. Who's, yes. who's special guests? Well, we've already announced Cynthia Erivo, Tony Award winning Cynthia Erivo, is one of my special guests. I have two amazing dancers, one from Alvin Ailey, actually. Wow. The star of Alvin Ailey, Clifton Brown, is joining me. Um, my friend Virgil Gadsden, who uh, is from So You Think You Can Dance, but also just did uh, songs for New World with me. And then the, uh, the final two guests, I'm not allowed to announce oh. yet. We're announcing one of them later this week. I'll tell you off the air. Okay. And then uh, the third one is like still a little bit on the fence, depending on the... When, when's the date and July how do they 30th, get tickets? Ticketmaster.com. Through the, yes. the end of the year, pretty much. Yeah, lots of dates now and, and continuing to be added. And, and that's on my Instagram, which is just Showbean, S-H-O-B-E-A-N. Is that your website, Shoshana Bean or Showbean? Shoshanabean.com is the website. Instagram is just Showbean. Somebody else is calling. Let's hey. talk. Hi. Yeah, hi. I get nervous every time. Hi. I Can you hear me? Hello? I don't know if I'm doing this right. Click Hello, Jesus. Oh, there oh hi. Can you hear us? Yeah, how are you? I'm wonderful. Who's this? That is Danny. Hi, hi, Danny. Hi, Danny. Did you call in to talk to Shoshana? Well, to, to all of you. Um, oh, hi, Danny. I just want to tell you how awesome I think, how awesome I think you are. Oh, um, thanks, Danny. My wife turned me on to you. Oh. Um, after Wicked, um, and just just love you. My wife loves you. Um, she's she's done um, your your call in when you were doing your album. Um, we did a donation for your album, and it was awesome. Oh, thank um, you. We actually live in Alabama. Nice, Bama, um, roll tide. And we went and saw your, your 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 Christmas show in Memphis a few years ago. <gasps> oh yes, uh, and loved it. And and loved it. And we are going to New York in a couple weeks <gasps> to see you. Apollo. Look at no that. No shit, Danny. You guys are the most loyal. Roll wow. tide. So forward to that. That's Thank awesome. Thank you, Danny. And, and, and we, we we did the VIP in Memphis to, to get to meet you, and we did the VIP at the Apollo. So oh. we're, You're going to get to meet me Danny again. again. I will be so good to see you again, Yay. Danny. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, Danny. Um, Danny, but, thank but, you. But do, me, do me a favor so I, so I don't have to so I can quit traveling all over the country to see you. Come, come, to, come, to, Alabama. come to Alabama. <laughs> Wasn't I there a couple years back? I went. I was in Mobile a couple years back. Did you come to that show? I did did not do that show. Um, oh, see. And Maybe embarrassingly, didn't didn't know you were in Mobile because we would have went and saw that. It's all good. I'll come back. I got to um, get back to Muscle Shoals but, anyway. That place is a is the motherland. Uh, Motherland. It is. It is. It's a wonderful. Yeah, and a lot of people don't know Muscle Shoals is, has a huge music history. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding? Um, we know all the history. Know about it for yeah. recording and everything. I got a really yeah. fat speeding ticket because so, I was racing from Mobile to you. get to Muscle Shoals to be able to go to Fame Studios and see the Native American uh, mm -hmm. memorial that guy had built and then uh, raced back and I got a huge mm -hmm. speeding ticket. You have very fancy policemen in Alabama. Oh. Why didn't you just sing yeah. and get out of it? Be like, do you know who I am? Let me just No, sing. it was terrifying. <laughs> it was really, oh, really? It's the oh. deep south. You don't want to mess around down there. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, Danny. I look forward to seeing you in New York, Danny. Bye, Danny. Well, I'm looking forward to it, too. Oh. Thank you so much. Love you, and have a great day. Love Bye. you, too. Good Thank night. You. That's she late over there, Danny. Some, go to bed. You have, you have some loyal amazing fans. fans. That's awesome. It's not, see, this is this is like when what I said, everybody out there is like, Deanna, shut up. I'm a loyal fan, and I will go from Alabama to New York for her. That's like, really I love. Cool. But, I mean, that, there's, there it is. You've, you've reached, like, if your goal, I find that success different for everybody. Ugh. If your definition of success is to reach people and touch them in some way, done. Do you know what totally. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Done. To have that esteem of other musicians, done. Slam dunk, you did that. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, that's a beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? Um, what are your goals? 
Yeah. What, what else your, do you want to do? do you wanna, where do you want to see yourself go? Yes. That you haven't gone already. I mean, besides the Apollo. Come on. Well, that's happening. <laughs> I just feel like everything I'm doing is what I want to be doing. I just, in my mind, see it on a, a bigger scale as time goes on. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I want to yeah. play bigger houses and be able to take the 18 piece big band everywhere instead right. of just playing the biggest cities with the full band. I want to yeah, go on yeah. a full proper tour with the bus and the full band, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I, I want to be like a, a like a legitimate part of the like recording community, like the yeah. recording artist community. And ultimately all that to do to create a platform for myself to be able to produce other artists, to be able to mentor other artists and sign other people and develop them. Yeah. I know when you and I were growing up, like A and R was really a thing where was a thing. someone would be attached to an artist and mm -hmm. develop their image mm -hmm. and their sound and their and they would really breed them to be stars. Right. And they don't do that anymore. You kind yeah. of have to come ready made and no one, you know, there's a lot of incredible talent out there that just doesn't have the wiring to like be self-starting or know the way. And right. I just would love having done it myself for 10 years. Like I would just love to be able to, and I've started to in a way, not in a way that I can like financially, you know, support them or pay for their projects or like, you know, yeah. put it under the umbrella of my label, but have started to sort of like help give people steps to guiding awesome. and marketing themselves and stuff. Have you heard of, I'm sure you've heard of him, because he's a beast, um, and we have the same birthday, so we're connected. Oh my gosh. Avery Wilson. Oh, of course. Can you just fucking do a video with him? Yeah, we talked about it. He always is bullshitting, and he knows it. And he we're gonna shout. We're he, gonna we're gonna call him out. Don't worry, we'll Avery text Wilson. Him right we'll, now, we'll, let's we'll text call him. him right now. He. Uh, let's text him. Okay. <laughs> hey. No, let me tell you something. Do I you have his number? my my yeah. oh, good. my <laughs> my friend Nathaniel Morton was is the drummer for The Voice. And Let's he called me up one day and he who said, is it? Nathaniel Morton. Okay. And he called me up one day and he was like, hey, why don't you come to the voice auditions and hang out? And so I did. Ooh, we're going to FaceTime. We're FaceTiming him. Avery Wilson hey. right now. Let's see the We'll answer. see if he answers. And he, this, this kid walks in and does Without You by Usher, and I literally no, shit in my special. pants. He's very no, I, I shit in my pants. I was yeah. like, He's not going to answer because he'll be like, oh, why is this bitch FaceTiming me? Why is he? He's, you know what, though? I, I mean, I. I Maybe that will. boy. We're going to. We're going to do something. Yeah, and we're going to do something special. That's that's. And you he know, he intimidates me though. I got to be honest, no. Deanna. Tell me also Why? if you notice this. What? Uh, the way we sang coming up, coming up, growing up. Yeah. Versus the way the kids sing now. Mm. You know, there's a difference. The way they riff versus the way we riff. Mm. The way their ear works versus versus the way we improv. Like some of these kids terrify me. Because I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to throw myself into the lion's den with him. But like, no, you, you, you can absolutely. Uh, He's a beast. We'll see. You, well, y'all, again. Here's the thing. Before I would have, like, when you're like, well, why don't you collaborate with. Yeah. Only this past year is the first time that I've really been like, hey, do you want to, like, get together and just sing in a room or make a video? Like, before yeah. I would be so terrified mm. that I wouldn't measure up, especially to these younger kids. And now I'm like, you know what? Even if I fucking suck, let me get in the room and but learn you from you. Yeah, like, and no. they probably all are probably thinking the same thing. Yeah, you're crazy, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> you know I mean? FYI, you're nuts. Um, that kid is a beast, but you absolutely, like, that would we'll be. We'll see. I would I'm gonna love. Do it. I'm going to film I, it. It I would, could be a disaster. I would love a. Um, I knew you were going to say him, too. I knew it. As soon as you were like, because I don't know if you know him. I was like, she's going to say it. But let me just say something because I literally sat there and audition and stalked him after that yeah, and found special. out who he was mm -hmm. and reached out to him. And I was like, you don't know me, but I was in your voice audition. And Jesus has touched your vocal cords. Yeah. Right. No, and then we started talking. He's like, I don't and know. And his spirit. Like, he's not just like a, a, like a dead spirit with a great voice. Like, his personality, yeah, the whole line. I, another one that I go... Where where are you? He's where, coming. He's where, coming. Where, where, where I need Everyone you on the Grammy stage. Their, yes, it's coming. Please, Jesus, because that voice don't make no damn sense. He's about it doesn't. to be emancipated and be... <laughs> emancipated, okay. right. Oh Good word. Gosh. Good it, word. <laughs> Good. I, like, Wait, did he just text you? No. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> but I'm going to give him so much shit. Okay, so listen to me, Wait, you guys. I want to talk to her before we okay. get to... What? I mean, we literally have 10 minutes We literally minutes have left. 10 minutes left, by the way. But, this is oh how no! fun this is. It goes uh, by so quickly. really, you know, this is a body image, body positivity. Yes. You know, we want to touch on that a little bit. So take your um, clothes off and show us what you got. No, okay. So we already talked about doing the show naked, and Shoshana has said that she's totally down. She's I coming did back not for the say that. Shoshana <laughs> said she's coming back for the nude show. So. I did not say that. No, Shoshana, I want to challenge you to do our masterpiece challenge. What's yes. that? Which if you haven't heard about it, Deanna created this. Oh God. Based on you know no, her it's song not an masterpiece. Okay. It's not beautiful. An no, it's, it's not. It's beautiful. 
like it's nothing to intimidate you it's it's just taking the time to showcase your body and 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 show the world like why you're a masterpiece so it's preferably we want you to write the word masterpiece on your body or you can you know do it afterwards but somewhere in the picture should be the word masterpiece and it should be something that's a little bit vulnerable to you Mm -hmm. um that's maybe not super you know comfortable or your norm and and just really take the time to see yourself as a masterpiece and let other people see you, you so as a Shana, masterpiece too. So, Shauna, do not. You don't have to go to this extreme. And don't. I would like to see some inspo. Okay, hold on. And don't show this to them, but I'm putting this up on my birthday, which is in eight days, and that's mine. This is, guys, you're. Where was this? At, at literally on a public on beach. On a public <laughs> beach. <laughs> Make oh, it in a cake. You guys just did the other yeah. day. But I mean, I'm so proud of her. Like, I feel like mama bear. But I mean, you know, she's really like some people might see it and go, you look disgusting. Take that down. But I hope that by what I write and everything, everybody sees how much of an advancement that picture is for me mentally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, also it's more for you it's accepting for you. Totally. yeah but I mean you don't have to do that but no, no she's I, like, but I get but she's like where's your masterpiece challenge masterpiece you, can, you can do whatever Anything, you want like and I, then you tag two yeah. people and challenge because you have to understand what we really want to do with the show is spread an infectious like self-love thing yeah. mm-hmm. there's so many people that really hate themselves mm-hmm. and don't can't even come to grips with it like she says no negative body talk she tries to look at herself in the mirror every day and find one thing about herself you know that's the thing is uh, we were talking about this before the show i know we're running out of time but no, we yeah, were talking we're about fine, it before the show about um uh how sometimes like i know for me there have been chunks of time where i've loathed my body and mm. myself and i look back on those and i'm like god i i look at a picture from two three years ago and i'm like and i thought i was fat right. like w- and i just think we spend so much time and so much energy um and and we lose time that way i mean i'll yeah. never get those three years I'll never get three years ago back right. and I wasted it not enjoying what I had and so t- these days I'm really trying every day to just be grateful with what it is even if it's not my ideal situation yeah. just being like my lungs breathe in and out without me telling them to mm-hmm. I can get through you know some brutal yoga classes in crazy heat like like there's things in my body does my voice does things just because it just knows that that's what I want it to do like right. it's a miracle mm-hmm. and my body is not who I am. You know, we were talking also about like, you know, um, how do you want to be remembered? Do you want to be remembered as beautiful mm, or right, remembered right. as someone who was loving? And I think that like, also being conscious of like, when I walk into a room, you know, I can lead with my energy and my heart yes, and the vibe that yes. I bring. It's not about my body. Yeah. We are not our bodies. And so what you said about like finding something beautiful to appreciate every day, even if it's your fucking eyes. Yeah. Right. Even if you're like, I have beautiful eyes. Like, I just think we abuse ourselves. We do. We do. So brutally. Well, yeah, because we're with our thoughts. We it all, all the time, like we're conditioned to do that. And especially, you know, like I always like kudos to to both of you and anybody that's in the entertainment industry, because I know you have to have a thick skin mm. being met with rejection for whatever reason, you know, whether it's anything that has to do with your physical appearance. A lot of times like that's just what they're you know, that's what people are are, are going with right out the gate. So this was I mean this is like huge it's really important for us and while we're on the subject if you haven't seen the video that Madonna released today Uh, it's like right in line with this she she says I apologize if I ever called you beautiful before I called you anything else if before I called you resilient you know resilient or I mean anything smart so I think if we start leading with that like this is just you know outward this is nothing it's it really isn't and i i I hope we can all get in that in that um pattern of of seeing people as something other than beautiful right off the bat you know what i mean Mm -hmm. so well when you open your mouth you that voice can't be denied so there's that it's funny though sometimes if i'm not comfortable in my body Mm. or in what Mm. i'm wearing or sometimes it can inhibit me from feeling free in my voice yeah like if i feel puffy or i'm you know or i self-conscious have put on somewhere or whatever like Mm -hmm. it's it really affects i allow it to affect how i feel on stage some people would be like i don't care what i look like on stage because this is my safe place but sometimes i find you know, unless I feel good in my body and I feel like I'm in something that's like, it's it's a challenge for me. But um, I do think, oh, I had so many thoughts when you were talking. You were saying our industry or whatever. I think if people 
if you're trying to get into this industry or you're already in this industry, it's just it's just part of the game. And if you don't take it personally and know that it's like shoe shopping. I look at casting like shoe shopping. The mm. shoe either fits or it doesn't. It's not personal to my bunions and my calluses <laughs> and like my size seven and yeah. a half yeah. or the width or the, it's just, it fits or it doesn't. And right. I think that the sooner, that's my biggest piece of advice is the sooner you can like not make it personal, uh, the, the, the more fun you're going to have, you know, yeah, and, just and you will going. find things that fit you like a Cinderella slipper. I you just will. I literally changing yourself. Right. I literally got big lots because I looked like I looked. Yeah. They the wanted the greatest free. I was I like, they literally oh. were like, we want, we want that. We that. want you. That's who shops at our store. We want to reach her. We want to reach the average you American know those big woman. lots commercials. Girl, cha-ching all the way to the bank. So, <laughs> I hope so. But I'll, more than anything, I hope you were like, this is a career highlight. It well, was, it was so, but it's like stylistically, your voice, like everything yeah. about it was, this is what I mean about perfect fit. Yeah, it was a perfect right. fit. You know it what I mean? You didn't fit. lose weight to play, to sure do that. Didn't. You didn't try to sing like so-and-so to do that. You were 1,000% mm -hmm. authentic. Yeah. yeah. And you know, as actors or singers, we will morph to, to, to <sighs> cater course. to the job, but yeah. like, you can be exactly who you are and there will be if you can stick it out and be stick resilient out, yeah. and and endure through well that's the that's the real message yeah. there isn't is you don't give up yeah yeah right yeah. how many people that you know around now you know i'm gonna be 45 in eight days i don't know how old you are i'm not gonna put you on the spot but here's the thing how many people are gone yeah i've done it i've done my due diligence i'm it's yeah, they it's got done. worn out they got and burned I'm, out i'm gonna go over here i'm a mom now, now I'm, I'm gonna whatever, whatever. and I'm there's nothing wrong estate. with that no but but they, you know, my message is always, you don't give up. I don't know what that next call is. Yeah, but you don't give up either because, like, for me, there's nothing else my heart will, you know, until it says, hey, I want to do this now. Like, yeah. there's nothing else that I want to do but it. sing and make music and work. Like, but someone else may be like, that was good. You know, I just, yeah. Yeah. You I'm get it. saying the same thing. You get Sorry. it. So back, yeah, so you're going to do the Masterpiece Challenge. And in yes, that, I am. you should tell us There's no deadline do. for it, right? No. no. Okay. What no. you do and, and when you And it can be in your comfort place yeah. of, of how you want to look no i think the point is to be a little uncomfortable it right? is yeah a little deanna bit. keeps saying people i'm not trying to get you in like a normal you know instagram yeah. picture with master yeah. like i want this to be because this is this is not Vulnerable. for us like this is a growing yeah, i haven't experience. seen you in a bikini lately let's do that this is a growing you will experience see that on instagram for <laughs> everybody who's doing <laughs> it do and that. then tag chrissy metz because she's needs to come on the show too I'll just text her. <laughs> we need Chrissy yeah. Metz on the show, by the way. We do. Like, right, I'm texting Like, her I'm right. telling you right now, Eve knows her, too. You know what we'll do? We'll make a video for her, and yeah. I'll text it to her, and we're done. Okay. Because that woman, first of all, you know she sings her face off, too, right? right. I, she was supposed to be a special guest at my L.A. show. <sighs> okay. And she uh, Eve had tipped to me off to that. Eve was like, you yeah, know, Chrissy can sing her ass voice. off, because yeah. she sings on This Is Us. Yeah. And also, but she, for me, and I know for you, too, on, like, I'm, I'm sitting here going, Oh my God! There's somebody like me on TV mm -hmm. and on the biggest show mm -hmm. on fucking TV right, right now, and that makes me happy. So yeah. we need her here. She yeah. needs to be here, and her journey has been epic. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and she like didn't give up. Literally nothing. Yeah. She didn't give up, man. Yeah. She. I. I read her story. I read it in several articles, and it was like she had like 32 cents in the bank or something, and yeah, was like, of course. That's you know, always right. I need like to get 32 said, cents in the bank. No, you yeah. met your husband when you were like, I, I gave up. up. Yeah. Well, I was close. Oh, I was accepting. I'm not ever going to meet love. It's like, I'm going to be alone. We're not saying that that's the... No, <laughs> that's not the key. Don't. That's the key. <laughs> guys, okay. don't give up, okay? Yeah. That okay, is not wait. what we're leaving with. No. So, no, so no. guys, we have like a minute and a half left. Shoshana, please, please, please just tell them again. Yeah. Apollo yeah. when? Yes. July 30th at the Apollo. At the Apollo um, and then the, all the other tour dates are on my, on my Instagram. Tell them your Instagram. Show Bean, S-H-O-B-E-A-N. Follow her, you guys. Go listen to her music. Buy her jazz album. Unbelievable. We're going to go out on the jazz album, a track from the album. It's on all of our promos. You need to follow her. You need to go buy and support this woman. Please yes. do that for yourself. And can you just give them the be positive? Because I really loved your oh inspirational gosh, quote. Yes, I'm so sorry. She had a While you're looking it up, quote. I just want to say thank you for having me. No, thank, thank you. you for what you're doing. Um, I think we need more like body positive, like self love. You yeah. know, I don't think, I think the message of like, you know, just being grateful in the moment for what it is today yeah. because I could walk out of here and get hit by a bus. Do you, you know, know what I mean? Like, you just yeah, never... Can are, you sing we are in case? We are today. No, I'm kidding. Just, like, the gratitude and appreciation for the miracle that your body is. So yes. thank you for being... Be present. 
we're be so, present. I'm so happy to meet you. And like her spirit and energy is so just warm and gracious. So thank I feel you. the same about you. So thank you. Okay. So here's our, we'll go out on our quote, which I freaking love. I hold my body with higher esteem than your opinion. Ooh. It has done far more for me than you have. Ooh. Like you said, like What's what it does every day. Up, what it does every day. Yoga, Thank you. Like what have you done for me? What's the name of your album? Spectrum. 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 All. Sorry. Remember the day we're going out on Shoshana Bean. You guys tune in next week. We'll be here. Thank Bye. you guys. Mwah. Good night. And we're probably just like gonna get four words. <laughs> Oh, it's a 50-minute show? Yeah. I thought it was an hour. You were the man.